December 7, at 6.30 local time. Less than an hour and a half later, at 7.55, the friends were woken up by the sounds of explosions, machine gun fire and the roar of aircraft engines flying over the ground at low altitude. Jumping out of bed and quickly getting dressed, Taylor rushed to the phone, which, fortunately, worked, and called the Valivo Auxiliary Airfield, where 18 P-40B Warhawk fighters of their squadron were concentrated. Without waiting for orders from higher commanders, he ordered the mechanics to urgently prepare fighters for departure for himself and Welch. The pilots jumped into Taylor's new Buick, and at top speed, Taylor later recalled that the speedometer needle was at 100 miles per hour almost all the time, rushed to the airfield, which was 10 miles away, on the way falling under machine gun fire from enemy aircraft. Arriving in Haliva, the pilots rushed to the planes. Ground personnel had already refueled the vehicles by this time and loaded their rifle caliber wing machine guns, but there was no ammunition for synchronous large caliber Brownings of the main Warhawk weapons at the airfield. After taking off and gaining altitude, the two fighters headed for the Barber's Point Hydrovia station on the southwestern tip of the island of Oahu. Here they met a group of planes that turned out to be B-17 Flying Fortress heavy bombers that had flown to Hawaii from the mainland. Appearing then over the airfield of the EVA Marine Corps airfield, the friends discovered that it was being stormed by 12 Japanese B-5NK torpedo bombers from the second attacking wave of the Japanese. Despite the solid numerical advantage of the enemy, Taylor and Welch rushed to the attack. Taylor shot down two enemy planes and damaged a third. Later, this cape was credited to his account as a supposed victory. Welch also wasted no time and managed to bring down two bombers. When both fighters ran out of ammunition, the Americans left the battlefield and at about 8.40 landed on the airfield of Wheeler Field Airfield to refuel and replenish ammunition, there were 12.7mm cartridges. A new strike on the airfield did not take long to wait. The first, already under the bullets of the attacking.